All right, boys and girls, it's time for the big reveal. The long-awaited, much-anticipated cast intake manifold for the Mazda Speed. Here it is in all her glory. So I want to show you guys the new intake manifold for the MZR and walk you through some of its features so you get an idea of what you're getting here. Biggest one right off the back, really large plenum. Volume-wise, about three times the size of OE. So we can get a lot of air in there real good. Guys making power, trying to get that boost in there. Other big key features are our four individual ports for meth. So it's real nice, already pre-tapped and drilled. You can install your nozzles. If you're not running meth, put the plugs in it, no problem. But it's gonna give you a nice option to have it all right there as a bolt-on. Uh, other couple features, take you right here over to the side. Throttle body, uh, that is a 70 millimeter opening right there. It's about 10 mil over large, over OEM. So you can really get in there if you guys are running larger throttle bodies, things like that. Uh, one of the key things we really wanted to focus on with this intake manifold is a nice OE style fit and finish and appearance as well. So this one is actually slimmer than OE. And I mean that in regards to its height. So let me hear if I can get down here and show you guys. Um, it's actually skinnier. So it's really nice, gives us a lot of room. So we're able to get our hands in here should we need to replace our map sensor, um, change any wiring, anything like that. Here we've got the brass fitting for the PCV. Um, really cool features that a lot of other ones out there don't have. Uh, this guy right here, oil dipstick. It's gonna fit right in, it's gonna be awesome. This leg right here ensures that it's nice and sturdy, fits on the engine block just like it's supposed to, so it's nice and secure. Um, let me go ahead and take you to the top as well. Show you a little bit there. This is the only intake manifold on the market that will utilize give you the option at least to run a stock top mount. So you can see we've got our locations for our studs to get that mounted in there. Running OE, ETS, anything like that. Real awesome. Nice big runners, flow really great. Plus or minus about 2% of each other. A little bit of the opening here, show you real quick. Uh, individual runners, nice big open mouths. Get all the air in there, do what we need to. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of space back here in the bottom. All the nice fittings, everything as well. What's really great is all these fittings that you're seeing are going to come with the unit. You're going to get all these guys. Brake booster, evap, bypass valve, extra, anything you need. Um, we're also going to send you a little bit of hose, some new throttle body bolts, a couple extra hardware pieces to make the man take manifold work and such. So it's a really great piece. Check it out. Uh, let us know what you guys think and get it all squared away. Awesome. So what you can see here is we've got our cast intake manifold installed on a first gen. This customer opted to get it powder coated white. It'll come in a cast gray finish, but it's definitely do whatever you want with it. Give it a little flare. Now what I want to do is show you a couple real key aspects on this. Um, first one, always style fit and finish. This guy bolts right in, no crazy modifications, no cutting nothing oddball like that um, you go over here stock throttle body location that's huge that's real key only one on the market that does that you're not gonna have to cut your existing piping you're not gonna have to weld modify anything like that um, also the option this guy's running a larger front mount but we've got the stud locations should we want to run a top mount I know a lot of guys got a lot of friends overseas can't get away with the front mounts as easy so that's going to be a real big plus for them. Um, the space right here on the front, all this space right here, it's going to give us plenty of room for all of our MEF nozzles that we can install on these nice pre-installed and taps. Real great. If not, plug them up just like this. Super easy. Right here, OE mount for dipstick. These guys, brake booster, evap bypass valve, extra vacuum port, all the good stuff. Map sensors right down in there. I know it's a little hard to see, um, but it's real nice. It's gonna fit right in. It's not gonna run into anything. It's gonna give you up a little space. It's gonna complement the nice engine bay. It's gonna be a real clean piece. So make some power, check it out. Let us know what you guys think.